one, two, shoot. <gasps> winner, winner, chicken Ooh. dinner. We're gonna let youth go before beauty. <laughs> World premiere of Fleeting Time. Uh, worked two years for this movie. It's gonna go off. Gonna we sold out off. two shows. Can't wait. It's gonna be a great night. Ben Oregon's favorite son, Ben Ferguson! Check this one out. It's like the first board ever. There was maybe one before this. But I definitely romped this one when I was just a little guy. I was like six years old when I first trapped him for the first time. So we'd go up on the weekends with the mom and my brothers, and it turned into this like big family bonding thing. Then once we got a little bit older, started like taking it a little more serious, started doing contests. I think I did my first contest, I was like eight years old. The first time I had ever learned of who Ben Ferguson was, was by actually watching the Burton Smalls video that had come out. It was just so funny to see him ride and he had this big goofy smile and you could just tell he loves snowboarding. Started off like USASA contest, had like some success when I was super young and then you get a little bit older and you kind of get lost. And then eventually I hit a little growth spurt, went through puberty and started like actually being good at like riding half pipe and going big and kind of like fell in love with it as well. Benjamin Ferguson. What can he do? They just showed his mom, Jen, cheering him on as Ben shifties over that side. There it is, the air to Bakey that made him the people's champ. Pyong Chang into the cap, 1080 double. Into the switch, double at the very bottom, taking off switch, landing regular, a clean exit. I think I had been out at X Games shooting for Snowboarder Mag and Ben podiumed uh, in one of the pipe events. And then I get a call from Travis Rice about coming out to film with him, and I'm tripping. I was invited to go film for the fourth phase. Up until that time, like, it was that's it, that's all, and the art of flight. I was probably like 20, 19, something like that. Like, you know, like, I'm a pretty young kid. And then it's like, okay, now's your time to show up, like get yourself a snowmobile and get yourself to Jackson Hole. I remember calling him up, ringing him, and he was, I think he was just going into X Games. You know, I was like, dude, do X and then get your ass to Jackson ASAP, right after the contest. Ben and I hadn't slept really at all, maybe an hour or two max. The spot we're going just happens to also be one of like the most burly uh, entrances into the backcountry where you have to do like multiple super aggressive hill climbs. I remember Ben just dropping in and cracking like a beautiful method. And that kind of set the, the precedent for the next three weeks. I had reception up at the ridge and I know Ben's parents were worried about him. I don't think I ever told him this, but I called his dad from the ridge and was like, he's good. He got his first shot. We're ready to go. And his dad was mad relieved. Ended up staying on that crew for a couple weeks and filming some stuff. I was super stoked to film and, you know, given the opportunity to learn from the best and be a part of a, you know, pretty huge production. That month, you know, that month was like the first time we really got to spend ample time in the backcountry together. And I mean, he showed up. Like some of the clips he got for fourth phase are still, I mean, still completely A plus worthy. The time I spent filming with Travis for the fourth phase was 
an insane learning experience and kind of like a baptism by fire into what backcountry snowboarding is. Being around Travis and seeing the way he operates, definitely learned like just how to bust ass, honestly. Like how to just put your head down and grind and like if you want something to happen, you can make it happen. You just how much effort you want to put in. And that was a real takeaway from like being out there with those guys. I think it was really impactful for Ben's career to sort of show up in that sense. Following that, he had for sure earned the respect of Travis and that crew and was clearly going to move forward into more projects with that type of caliber attached to them. Yeah, for me, I don't think I process my decisions that hard. I just think like, this is what I want to do. I'm going to go do that. So when I did kind of stop competing, that being the only thing I did and was ready to like move on and learn a bunch about filming in the backcountry and doing that whole thing. Joy was right after the Olympics for me. And I had never really dedicated 100% of my time to a snowboard film yet. So this was like the first one that I was going to do. So coming into Joy, there definitely was a lot of pressure. Like I'm doing a project with two of the best snowboarders in the world, like Red Gerard and Sage Kotzenberg. We were in Jackson Hole in Travis's little dojo. There's a bunch of big, scary jumps out there. And me and Sage were kind of on a little bit of a war path. And I think it kind of started as a joke. Um, we were like, well, should we go walk up there and check out that jump ravine gap? We we're kind of standing on top of it. And I don't know, maybe it was more out of like ignorance and not really like knowing how gnarly that thing was actually gonna be. Busted ass building the thing, and then once you build the thing, you're not gonna just not hit it. So then we ended up hitting it, and Sage got a trick, and then he just started lapping me, and I was on a full like battle to land this front 1080 and finally got it. And sometimes when you watch that stuff on footage, it doesn't really like translate as well, but being there in the moment, I know for myself hitting it, that was like, one of the craziest jumps I've ever hit, for sure, to this day. It was gnarly, but we did it, and we filmed some amazing stuff, I think, and made a great movie. There's a couple underlying themes there that kind of go along with the vibe of fleeting time. One is like, take advantage of your time, you know? The clock is always ticking. Time is a hard thing for people to even define. All you have is time, but it's passing by, so use it wisely. I think this two-year movie that Ben's been working on, Fleeting Time, has been a massive part, you know, a lot of work has gone into it. Big movies like that aren't really happening as much anymore in snowboarding. It just takes the right person to be able to make their own film. It takes so much to, to be ringleader. What I wanted to make was a snowboard movie, like the ones that I grew up watching, you know. You want it to be nostalgic in a way, and I think the way to do that is to look at those projects that you were you know, inspired by and try to emulate that and try to hold it to the same standards that those dudes filming those movies held themselves to. We filmed the whole first year for Fleeting Time and I definitely did it when we were filming. I think it was in Jackson Hole before the first natural selection contest. I definitely messed my knee up and then rode on it all year. Got it checked out at the end of the year, and the surgeon is like, you gotta fix it now, otherwise it's just gonna get worse. It was like August, and I got the surgery. I was on crutches for six weeks. Being on the sidelines for that long, not being able to walk for that long, and then thinking about like getting back into it and what that was gonna take. Like, I was willing to put the work in and that's all I focused on, but it was like pretty nerve wracking and I knew I had this two year project and I was just in the middle of it and I had to like continue to bust ass for this next year to like really drive me into like getting healthy and getting ready for the winter.
we brought this cramp from Western to kind of like wrap about for a little. So you can walk out. Awesome. I think without this jump, we'd be kind of hurting for, you know, some of that heavier content that you want to live in a snowboard movie. We had the whole crew, the whole crew helped build it, which is amazing. Like when you got a crew that'll dig for you, that's key, like you need that. For me, like I did a trick on this that I had never done before and straight up Red like coached me through it. He was yelling, flip it while I'm flying through the air and it ended up working and I landed on my feet and I don't know, it was an awesome session. What's it like having your name on a full feature? Mm, having your name on a full feature is a little stressful, honestly. This is my movie, like I kind of got to step up and I kind of got to take responsibility and I got to work hard and I got to make this thing good because otherwise, like, what are you doing? <laughs>